Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. All right, yesterday I showed you how I converted the 14 millimeter G Master lens to be able to accept those HEDA ND filters in the back of the lens. Now, naturally, I didn't post any footage or anything because it was nighttime when I was shooting the conversion and all that kind of stuff. So today I actually have the lightest, I think it was a 0.9 maybe, the, basically the lightest ND filter on the back of this thing for my drive up to Maryland today. And it, I mean, it's sunny, but kind of cloudy. I don't know how it's gonna work out or whatever, but I basically have the filter on there today. And obviously it's not like I can just pop it off or you know twist it and change it and all that kind of shit but for now i do have that in here and i am on f1.8 looking at my zebras and everything it doesn't look like it's completely blown out so we're good to go there anyways that's that <sighs> let's have a nice long drive to maryland all right kids just for shits and giggles right now i have the lightest nd filter in here i still have this set to f1.8 and this is what you get. I mean, this is in like, the sun is like, obviously I'm still squinting. It, it's so bright. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this lens out. Not the lens, the, you know, the filter, just so you can see the difference. All right, kids, now here we are with the darkest ND filter put on, still at F1.8. Now my ISO is actually trying to compensate and it's up to like 800 or something. But look at that, you can see all the clouds. You can see me squinting, probably see the wrinkles on my face. Pretty impressive, huh? And that's wide open, F1.8. So yeah, these things are pretty awesome. And I'm not gonna complain. Although, lots of dust, and I'm doing this like standing at my freaking passenger door right here. So any dust that comes in here or any dust that comes off the camera, uh, it basically, you know, flies around. But that's why I have these everywhere so I can blow everything out. All right, I don't know where we're gonna go. We might try to go down to the canal because I'm not really hungry right now and I was falling asleep and I needed to get up and get out. So let's go do something exciting. Okay, so here we are. We're at that little canal system, Carrollton Street Park, something like that. And I'm walking into the sun. I've now switched this out. I have the second to lightest filter in here. Um, I think it was 0.9 and then 1.8, something like that. I don't know, it's the second one. And since I'm walking here into the sun, it's gonna be a little bit blown out, but I'm keeping it at 1.8, just so that you can see the difference. The last time I was here was Christmas. And remember I showed you the canal system and it had all those little decorated ships, but this is still pretty cool down here. So I managed to snag a parking space right back there at the bridge, just off to the bridge there. And it's after five, so free parking. Gorgeous day. It's pretty warm out, although maybe not quite as gross as it has been in Virginia Beach past couple of days. I think I should come here for dinner again. Okay, kids, there you have it. I gave you three of the four ND filters. I showed you the lightest one, which is, it says ND 0 0.9. Then I did, most recently, the second lightest, which is ND 1.2. And I gave you the darkest one when I first started outside the hotel, and that was ND 1.9. So I didn't give you 1.8, whatever the hell that means. Basically, I used the lightest, the darkest, and one in between. The one in between would probably be the one that I would use the most often, 
because that gives me enough, but not too much. And I do not want to be switching these things out constantly because every time I did it, there was dust on the front and the back of that freaking thing. And then I had to clean it off the back of the lens element. And then I had to blow everything out, you know, and I had to wipe it. And I don't have the cleanest of cloths in my Forerunner. So I'm not going to be carrying around a damn cloth with me everywhere and, you know, running around and taking little smudges off and all that shit. So basically, I'm going to put it in there. It's either going to be too light or it's going to be too dark. But that's what we're all stuck with, right? Sometimes you just got to make do with what you got. That was part two of this. Yesterday, I just showed you how I got the kit how I replaced the plastic insert on the back of the lens with the HEDA insert, and then basically how you put the ND filters in there. And today I showed you footage. Not to mention, I just showed you something different because it was actually nice and I got my lazy ass off the bed and went out and had dinner and walked around downtown Frederick and Carrollton uh, Park, whatever you call it. So that's all you get for today. I'd like to know your thoughts. What did it look like? Make a difference? Do you not care? Let me know. But again, that's all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.